The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Colorado's generated a lot of offense because of their puck possession, particularly in the O zone where they've just dominated play. They have that two-goal lead, and they can't sit back. They've got to continue to press through the second period. Quick pass to point. And he takes a shot. Oh, he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Picked up along the wall by McKinnon. Taken by point. Nice poke check. Into the offensive end now. Shot! Denies him! Johansson's able to square up to the shooter right here. He's in a dangerous position in the slot area. What a great save, James. Points across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Right on the doorstep! Oh, stick save and a butte! Penalty coming up here. Another stick infraction, and you know that coaches don't like this one. A product of not being in good position, reaching, and then taking the trip because you weren't moving your feet. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. From the right side, takes the pass. Skates to the crease. And that got caught up in traffic and goes off the stick. What a save and a good one by Johansson. This one inside. Monster blocker stopped by Johansson. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look. And he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. That opportunity is rejected. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Here he is from the slot and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. There's so many moving parts in the game of hockey, which is why it's one of the most difficult sports in the world. And he gets to that prime time scoring area. You don't get that too often, and he just sails it and he misses the net. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Into the corner now. Here he is, shot right in front. That goes off a twig. Picked up along the boards by Cogliano. They score! And a shorty at that. Just love this goal, James. I mean, this is a PK, not just a PK, but a power kill. They go and attack when they recognize the opportunity. And they create this chance and they put it away. It always amazes me, James, to see how quickly these shooters can get the puck off of their stick. I mean, they can shoot off their inside leg, their outside leg. It doesn't matter. But what does matter? The positioning from that slot area. You know that if you get all of it, you're going to tag one home. The Avalanche have been dominant tonight. Look at this. It's a three-goal game, and we're still in period number two. Well, these games are the fun ones, right? You can pad your stats. You know that you're dominating puck possession, and it's a lot of fun, and it's entertaining because you're creating room for your line mates, the defense. Everyone is connected. Everyone is involved in the offensive attack. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. The Avs have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Colorado's got the puck inside the offensive zone. The Avs will take it behind the net. Tampa Bay's got the puck. Here they come. Colorado's grabbed a hold of the puck. Quick feed to McCarr. Moves into the slot. in play as we get it offside. Oh, here we go. You knew that was coming. Tempers are flaring now. You don't shoot that puck after the whistle unless you're sending a message. And you know, you know, James, that you're going to have to answer for it. And scores the takedown, and that'll bring this one to an end. Yeah, gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice, and he's going to be the victor in this one. When the fight started, the fans erupted, and then all of a sudden the tilt went the road team's way, and it got awfully silent in here. 
The gloves are back on. The buckets are strapped back in. And we still got a game to play here with an upcoming faceoff. Tampa Bay's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Great hits up play with the stick by Rantanen. And we've got an offside with a faceoff looming. Past the halfway mark of this period, 3 0 is where we sit. One team really enjoying this night, the other, not so much. The Avs have it now. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Colorado's on the attack. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does, he makes a nice save. They're on cruise control here late in the second. And simply look at the scoreboard, the shot count. It is all one-sided. Gets the tip. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Rantanen. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Off a stick. Colorado's got the puck now. Taken by Rantanen. No room for that one to get through. Here we go. Look at this here. Really a part of the squeeze down. They'll be looking to keep that momentum going here in the faceoff. After that last shift, James, where they really press, they want to continue right there, get pucks to the net, because this goaltender will not want to battle net front. He's outworked already. McCarr sliding the puck behind the net. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Johansson. Colorado's had one song in their mind all night long. Shot, 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 shot. They continue to lead late in the second. The Avs win the faceoff. The fans desperately urging for them to shoot before the clock winds down. Denied that one. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come.